Uh, Jeff Robbins has done a fantastic job, really, really has. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. You know, every opportunity I can get, I'll be coming down here as much as I possibly can. But now I've found golf, it's, it's opened up a new life for me, you know, competitive life. I'm just about coming to the end of my tether in terms of playing football, uh, although I still play every Monday at the moment. Uh, but once that goes, then I'll be playing golf virtually two, three times a week if I can fit it in. And so I need to get better at that. So what better than to get involved in a golf driving range and get Jeff to uh, make me better? Well, Chris actually swings the club pretty good. Um, he's still very fit. He moves in a, in a very relaxed and supple way, which is good. Practice is so important and you need time to practice. And of course, when you've got a very busy life like Chris has got, that's not always possible. His golf swing really is up to the standard of playing to something in the region between eight and 10 handicap. But because he doesn't get enough time to practice, um, it's hard to sort of get to that level. Chris's stance has improved a lot. Uh, he used to stand with too narrow a stance. And I think sometimes, occasionally, what he does, he swings his shoulders a little bit too flat. So sometimes he'll drag the club round behind him, and because of that, he then comes round that way, which makes him pull the ball across. So instead of getting the club swinging on a slightly more upward path, he occasionally turns his shoulders a little too horizontal, and then he gets the club a little bit flat at the top of the backswing, and that brings him outside the line of the ball occasionally, and makes him pull. As we get a little older, we all get a bit stiffer in the back and shoulders, um, and it's, it's quite difficult to maintain a posture where you can turn underneath yourself and let the club swing up. It's much easier to drag the club behind you and then throw it outside the line. As you come outside the line, you have to come across it. If the club face is square or closing, you're obviously going to pull it. The one tip for me, for Chris, is that really what he should try to do is give himself more time to warm up so that when he comes to the range next time would be to start for at least half an hour to three quarters of an hour with a nine iron and just try and let his swing feel a little bit more upright. Don't change your swing, just spend more time with the shorter clubs for practicing for at least three quarters of an hour before you start really giving it a bit of welling.